it is 2020 or 2030 something and shit is bad it's worse it's what you expect but there is also a greater degree of resistance anti-police riots are frequent tenant unions some communists, but most reformists, have covered a significant percentage of the renters in many cities as rent is everywhere more than half the income for proletarians. Base unions have organized service sector workplaces, but wages are still stagnant in the face of new inflationary shock. The shantification of the American city is largely complete, with vast homeless encampments occupying every vacant lot and stretching for miles in the interurban periphery. A new economic shock hits. Heavily indebted municipal governments, some of them led by social democrats, are in free fall. But this time, the federal government and the coalition of capital lack the political will to stabilize them. The president, elected with a mandate to end the U.S. involvement in the civil war in Mexico, is deposed by a coup, but large parts of the U.S. armed forces refuse to follow the new military leaders. Only the Marines, parts of the Army, and the Air Force are on the side of the state, but the Navy is staying neutral. The National Guard is mobilized, with various objectives. Their units are effectively autonomous. The long-awaited 100-year flood finally hits California. This is good as it's going to get in the U.S. as far as revolutionary situation goes. In the California Delta, militants on boats loot the flooded arms department and burn the police stations. <laughs> is it time to form the fucking Soviets or what? Well, some tens of thousands of people seem to think so, convincing hundreds of thousands to follow suit. 